And you also cannot ignore the fact uh, that on October 31st, uh, that the FBI and the St. Louis Police Department arrest, kidnapped a member of our movement and called, said because he was engaged in making terrorist threats. What was that about? That was about the fact that he had been hired uh, by the St. Louis educational system and then they took it back. All of a sudden they decided they didn't want him working there. And he got involved in a heated discussion with them. And so that was the basis of them arresting him, taking him to jail, holding him in jail for two weeks, and then, then ter interrogated, not about terrorism, not about terrorist threats, but how many members are in the, in the African People's Socialist Party. What did the people think when we attacked the African People's Socialist Party? This is what they were, they were talking about in that same month of October. After having initiated programs here to uplift this community, after having put in this community a program that created doulas uh, for African women, where we have a situation that uh, in this city that there are enough black babies dying in the first year of life to fill 14, 14 kindergarten classes. We know the FBI is not trying to help solve that problem. Right. We are trying to help solve that problem. And if what they are saying is that Russians are responsible for that, then three cheers to Russia. Anybody who's working with black people to overturn this oppression. And the media should be saying three cheers to Russia. But I'm telling you, I've been involved in this struggle uh, 